It is the middle of the afternoon if you're watching us on TFC and early evening if you're watching us on Knet 25.1. And so how are you doing? You know, sometimes I feel myself like um, losing energy in the afternoon um, because it's usually a very busy day. And I know that I'm no different. I know that a lot of you also deal with very busy schedules. So the best thing to do to combat that is grab a tasty, breakfast right and that's why there's a deal for every morning at McDonald's and breakfast that will have you guys jumping out of bed excited to start your day now get two sausage McGriddles or two chicken McGriddles for just 350 or you can mix and match savor the sausage McGriddles with its sweet maple taste of the grilled cakes or take a big bite of the chicken McGriddles with its delightfully crispy chicken fillet. This two for 350 deal will be the fastest and yummiest way to start your day. Make sure you set your alarms for tomorrow. If you want to go take advantage of this offer from McDonald's, this is a valid in all participating stores in Southern California. So take advantage of that. Meanwhile, back here on the show, we are giving you uh, advice, looking back on some of our most helpful, most sought after, most enjoyed uh, segments on the show uh, with financial advice with So Rescued right about now. Here are some tips on how to save up or build your retirement. Daydreaming about your post-work life is easy, but getting there, well, it takes work. And that is why we're going to be talking about that today, how to save up for retirement and how to prepare for that as well. Joining us this afternoon is Jennifer Pagsulingan from Financial Rescue. Jennifer, coming to our rescue, how are you? Hi, Janelle. Hello to you and our viewers. Um, the thing with retirement, um, it's never too early to start. How much depends on what you want your retirement to look like. One rule of thumb is to plan on replacing 70% uh, to 80% of your pre-retirement salary each year. So if you earn 75,000, you'll need to save up 60,000 times the number of years you'll be retired. Hint, the average woman lives to about 81 years old in the US. I know. And if for those who want to come up with their own estimate, you can go for it as well. Keep in mind that some of your expenses will be different later. Healthcare and travel costs may go up while other expenses go down or disappear, especially if you've uh, paid off your mortgage, your car and student loans by then. Now, if your retirement income puts you in a lower tax bracket than you are now, you'll also owe less in taxes. Some states don't even tax retirement at all, right, Jennifer? Right. And you may also be able to factor in Social Security income, and you could still fill in your time and your wallet with some side hustle. Once you've got an idea of how much you'll need each year, do the same math. How about if the number is really high, Jennifer? Like, you know, I need this much in order to survive retirement. What do we do? Oh my gosh, don't panic. The good news is that you don't have to save it all. Um, when you invest, your money has a chance to grow over time. And the earlier you start, the more you have later. Um, this is because of the concept of compounding. Just try not to touch the money um, so soon. So future you says, thank you for keeping your hands to yourself. Now, setting a benchmark can also help your goal feel more achievable. Fidelity breaks it down like this. Aim to have one year's worth of salary set aside by age 30, then three times your salary by 40, and six times by 50, and eight or more times by the time that you set your forever out of the office message. But if you want to speed things up, there are things you can do now in order to get to your number. There's one, if your employer matches some of the money you put into retirement account, try to contribute at least enough to max out their help. And that is free money. And of course, we all want free money, right? And then number two, automate transfers so you can send money straight to your 401k or IRA. So without ever seeing it in your checking account, if you automate, that's the best way that you'll basically set it and forget it, contribute or accidentally spend that money elsewhere. So basically setting it automatically yes. is basically earmarking the money 
to go straight to retirement and we're not we're not given the false security that we still have enough to spend right that's right um so be aggressive you can change up your asset allocation to try to grow your money faster just remember higher rewards equals higher risks um your call on whether um it's worth it right and you know there's yeah. no magic number everyone ne needs uh, to hit to retire, get a personal reasonable target by looking at your current financial situation and hitting imaginary fast forward to see how it could change over time, then start investing to get to where you want to go ASAP, right, Jennifer? It's good to be reminded of these things. That's right. That's also what we try to do on our podcast, remind people and give valuable information, financial tips and advice and education. And you can check out our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe. And Financial Rescue is always looking for ways to improve our service. And we're happy to report that we have a few new programs and initiatives to help serve our clients. First, for a limited time, we're excited to announce that Financial Rescue is guaranteeing the lowest program payment for our debt relief services. Um, we've also implemented our Debt Relief Stimulus Plan, which is a, a comprehensive program designed to make getting started with debt much easier for those who are struggling. This program provides $100 off enrollment for the first month. Just mention so Janelle. Financial Rescue still gives free and confidential consultation if you call them right now to see how they can help you and what kind of solutions they may have for your problems. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much.